twenty. She think dating is networking. So mother deserves a whole phase in their life. Whole phases. I am pro whole phase. I believe everyone and their mother deserves a whole phase in their life. Whole phases are monumental to our personal and individual growths. And granted, I understand there's a lot of negative discourse around having a whole phase, girls being in their whole phase, men being in their whole phase, et cetera, et cetera. I don't understand why we shun people who embrace their whole phase. Granted, let's say this, but I'm gonna put this on the record. Problems arise in the whole phase when you are honest and you hurt people during your whole phase. Do you maybe go through a ton of different whole phases in your life? Yes, you might have a whole phase, you might end your whole phase, you might get married. I think that just like life has different phases, so do whole phases, and there's a time and a place. I will say that while nobody's in charge of whole phases, there is definitely certain etiquette that you have to like maintain, have the same space for people to be open about the phases that they're in, about embracing their whole phase and enjoying themselves. When you're going through a whole phase or entering a whole phase, it's more than likely because something pivotal happened that pushed you there. And it's really important to learn how to embrace your sexuality, how to embrace dating, how to learn how to date, to stand on your own two feet. And I feel like that's a lot of the times what the whole phase offers you. And it offers you the clarity and the space to find out the things that you really love, the things that you hate, the things that you are okay with, and the things that you desire. That's very important, especially in your younger years. I think it is so, so important. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Is a whole phase a necessity or am I just chatting? What did your whole phase actually teach you? I am um, she has a daughter, guys, that's in first grade, and she says she's a great mother. She has a daughter, and she says she's a great mother. Um, so th those are just key facts. She's a single mom. She has a daughter that's in first grade, and she's promoting the whole phase. She's very much promoting it. This is nothing but promoting it to the highest level. Go through it when you get in a relationship, get out of a relationship. When you're going through this, you need it in life. It's very important. It's valuable. You need to sleep with these men. You need it. It's important. You need to sleep with these guys. She has a daughter. And I think, um, what was it? The guy in the comments, um, Snuggles. You you asked me, um, what do you think women are telling you about what happened? What do you think? You asked me about women and their purpose and stuff like that, their value and stuff like that. This is what happened when a woman is led astray and she's left to her own devices. This is why single moms are dangerous individuals. Dangerous individuals. Because, again, they, they raise the next generation. They raise the next generation. And instead of learning from her mistakes and saying that, you know, most parents will be like, because I was in the streets, my son, I don't want you to be in the streets. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure my son never joins the streets. Like T.I. T.I. got into it with his son because he was like, you wasn't raised like that. And you're not going to be raised like how I was raised. You know, that was T.I. argument with his son, King. He was like, you know. I don't want you to raise me, grew up like how I grew up. I'm a successful man. I gave you a great life. You don't have to go through the trial and tribulations I went through to get to this part. You have a better starting point than I had. The mom who I don't know what her starting point was, but I don't know. Well, it could have been tragic because you know how she is, but she is going to get her daughter to have a worse starting point than she had. I want you to understand that. She wants her daughter to have a worse starting point than she had because her key words were that i want you to start it at a young age you should start doing the whole face at a young age so her daughter will come to her by questions about dating boys and all these things and she will promote her go have fun darling go have fun go live your life don't let these people judge you and you are encouraging a woman who Nine out of 10 don't want to be a single mom like you who want a relationship, who want to be valued by her husband or boyfriend to lose that thing that the man will value. That innocence. And this is why I mean, like, again, 
She's telling you why it's important and why you have to have a multiple times in your life. Multiple, not one, multiple times. And again, like you got to understand, if she's telling the world this, you don't know how what she's telling her daughter. You don't know what she's telling her daughter. And she will promote it. You know, like is if she wanted to live in the street, she can just do that quietly. But you got to understand, they... The girls in the street recruit other women, man. You have to understand. The, the, the 304s in the streets, they recruit other women. It's a lifestyle. It's a way of like a coming of age celebration. They be calling the other ones out to the street. And she says she's a good mom. I'm a great mom. You know, my baby daddy ain't nothing and stuff like that. Here's her talking about how you, now y'all probably can understand why that man moved on from her. Now you can understand why he got a new girl and she's saying he's just a horrible person. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that and stuff like that. You could believe it's all lie because think about it. This woman of all things she can promote, she's encouraging women to just get passed around. And she doesn't even know the difference between dating and networking. She literally described dating as networking. I'm going to meet individuals. We don't have to have intentions to get married, get in a relationship or build anything. We will just sit here and have conversations and plan to use each other in the future. We will communicate with each other, have a conversation, and plan to use each other in the future. That's literally networking. We can have ideas, share thoughts, and stuff like that. And then she's out here sharing the idea to, you know, I want to be out here at 304, and I want to have fun. You should do it whenever you like. And most importantly, start when you're young. And she said she's a great mother, guys. She is the great mother. Her child was downstairs coughing for her life. And she says she's a great mother. But guys, it's late. And first time I did a four hour, four hour um, stream. So let's clap it up. For our stream, guys, I'm proud of that. I'm very proud of that. That's way longer than I thought. And I don't mind answering y'all questions. I probably should start doing that sometime, guys, if it's correlated with the topic. Squid the Kid, thank you for tuning in, my guy. Dark Knight, you're back as usual. Um, Dave Pill React, salute, my guy. Dark Relief. Um, Relief. Um, this um, superficial, superficial absorber, so the superficial absorber, like, comment, subscribe. All right, Dark Knight, super uh, let's see, B Man TV, how you doing, my guy? Squid, thank you for the super chat, Squid. Thank you for the super chat, just going down. Uh, let's see, and Snuggles, thank you for the super chat. Momo after dark, what's good, my guy? Sunday Night Smoke Podcast. I don't know who's Sunday night. I'm going to look that up. Sunday Night Smoke Podcast. I'm going to look that up. What's good? Um, Sunday Night Smoke Podcast. Um, let's see what else. Snuggles, thank you for Super Chat and Squiddy Kid. And uh, let me make sure I say shout out to everybody who came in. All right, that's everybody. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for the Super Chats. Um, one day I will get to a point where I want to like read out the Super Chats and Say if it's like a dollar amount, I read them out and I answer your questions because I really be trying my best to answer your questions. Why the videos pain? Because I want to really interact with y'all in the, um, the live chats, guys. I want to interact with y'all guys. You know, if you ever have questions or concerns about the video, I appreciate the love and support, guys. You know, um, again, questions or concerns, I answer right away. I don't want to hold you guys. Appreciate the love, appreciate the support. Tune in for the next show. Longest show ever. I'm proud of myself for four hours. A little bit tired, but not too crazy tired. And there's a weekend, so I can do this. DJ, I seen the DJ Academic thing, guys. I watch a lot of DJ Academic stuff. I like his little perspective on things. You know, personality-wise, with his girls and everything. I seen that stuff. It's crazy. All them allegations and stuff. All them stuff like that. It's I don't know. Like, he... I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, 
I couldn't be friends with him. Like I like the content, but I couldn't be friends with him because it's just like you can't keep people like you know the the drinking, the crazy girlfriends, the friends that he carry around. Just too much going on. Too much going on. He seemed like he's a good guy though. That's a sad thing. He just seemed like he's a good guy. Just don't know how to judge character, and likes to see the best and every like everybody is just crazy to me. Like I don't know, guy. I don't know if he. Hit, I feel like if he he got to build his self esteem up because. Too many times the way he spoke, I was like, damn, like it sounded depressing. Like it sounded very depressing. And it's like, you know, like I don't know, like it sounded depressing. I ain't gonna lie. I was just like, what the world? Like DJ Academic situation is questionable. I don't know what y'all think about it, guys. I don't know. Like it just I looked at it, I was just like, man, this man. Cause I like I, I watch his content, guys. I watch a, I watch certain podcast content. Like I, I like to like see different perspectives i don't want to just be one-sided you know i want to see other people i even watched some women content just to see like pink listens like there's a lady called pink listens i want to say pink listens um i like her content i'll be watching other contents and i just like to get different perspectives so yeah but dj academic situation is crazy email doka situation i've seen on twitter wild <laughs> um yeah I don't really pay attention to the Cardi being offset thing. I just think they just delude crazy people, crazy people, crazy stuff that I don't think people should talk about. That just I don't know this publicity or whatever going on. I don't understand that, but yeah, DJ Academic thing it threw me off, guys. I was shocked, and uh, yeah, it was just it was interesting. I ain't gonna lie, interesting. It was like a two hour. I watched most of it. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. When you make money, guys, stay away from the women, man. That's one thing I'm learning. When if God bless me, my YouTube blow up. If I'm, I will probably never say never, but I won't. I won't ever have a whole phase. I will never have women on my panel or anything like. I do like live conversation like this, guys. But whole phase is a no. If you guys, if you got something, if you gain something so powerful that you work hard your whole life, them vultures, the women will come. And allegations will fly. Allegations will fly. That's one thing I'm learning when I'm watching other content creators. I think a lot of us guys need to pay attention to it. A lot of guys in the NBA are reckless. Popping out big mamas left and right, reckless behavior. But I'm learning that it's good to stay to myself, make my content, be um, satisfied my relationship. Because it's too many allegations out here. I will never have women on my panel. Like I'll go to somebody else's platform and if there's women there, cool. And stay to myself and just answer the questions, but I would never do it in my confinement in my place or anything. I don't care what happens. No, I do virtual, like camera and everything. We we talking, okay, but not in person. There's too much stuff going on, guys. And clubbing and everything. It's just like y'all gotta if you make if you plan on making money, stay away from these women, man. Just get you a girl. Hopefully, she's the right one. The allegations are flying like crazy out here, guys. They're handing them out like candy. Allegations, 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 allegations. I'm just like, yo. And it's like these women are really, they're really coming out here. Like it's really serious. It's really serious. Like little text messages, conversations, it could lead to a lot. It could lead to a lot. Like it's not good to be, I'll say this is not good to be a guy in the streets when you got money. You got a lot to lose, a lot to lose. You got a lot to lose. Don't don't be spending your money on these women out here, man. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna stay to myself, guys. I'm not. I'm not. I never. I already had my whole phase. I was cool. I'm good. I just nah. Too many allegations. Too much to do with women. Like, is I'll be damned before I'm in court. You know, arguing with some women about this. This text message. I'm not texting nobody. I'm not DMing nobody. No matter how much money I make, I'm not doing it because, like, I see the NBA players popping out babies left and right being reckless. Plus, they're young, but still, they're reckless. Rappers are already reckless. I don't really have no standards for them. They're reckless people. But these streamer guys are a new thing. These streamers, these YouTubers, they're all new. It's a new wave. These things are still relatively new. <laughs> and they're getting into, like, crazy situations because of these women. Because of these women. Like... When you make all that money, you become the center of attention to them women. Like, you know, it's time to dive in. And I don't know. Like, I'm good. Like, that, it's a headache when I be seeing stuff like that. I'm just like, man, damn. Like, and it really shows us, like, 
that's why I believe sometimes God don't give us money up front as man. We're not supposed to have it up front like that. But reckless. The maturity have to come in play. Like a lot of us guys don't have a lot of, like a good level of maturity when we're young. Like you need that maturity. So when you get the resources, you don't go waste it and be done with it. Like you see the guys in the NBA, they get it at 19, 20. And look what they're doing. Grabbing Instagram thoughts left and right. Only fan girls left and right. Sometimes they get they get them pregnant. Like you gotta understand, you was reckless too when you was like 19, you know, 18 and 20. You was reckless. I was reckless at one point in my life, you know. So it's just like you gotta be thankful. Sometimes God didn't give you that blessing up front. Like he would say, I'm gonna, you know, wait a little long, you know, so I won't so you won't sit here and be like them. You just give it a little time, give it a little time. You know, we get upset about that, but Watching these other guys, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. Like, I, I don't think I would have been good for me to have that money back then. I was way more, like, in the streets back then. Like, now I'm, like, simmer down, not worry about stuff like that. I got to watch Kevin. I watch a lot of podcasts, and I see a lot of conversations. I know women nature because I was dating a lot, and I was going around the field and stuff like that. So I, I got a lot of investment and resource and information. I'm like, no. But if I had money, oh, I would have been reckless. I would have had a baby mama by now. I would have had a baby mama, uh, 100%. If I had money when I was younger, oh, no. Oh, no. So if some of you got to be happy you don't got it. Because a lot of us made bad decisions when we was younger, like early 20s. Way too many bad decisions. And if you had money, all them girls that were thinking that, you know, I'm just going to mess around him. Oh, no, no. I, I'm having his child. That's what she would have been like. She's going to have your child. So... Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm guys, if you're a streamer, podcaster, whatever, be on your P's and Q's, man. So it's, just, it's sad because the young ones, they like kind them and all and stuff like that. If it happened to them, you really be like, he is young. That's all we can really say. Like, I'm not saying it should happen to them, but I'm saying like when guys are that young and they're out here in the field and they're experiencing a different type of life, making millions, hundred K's and stuff like that a month. It's like you understand like this is a man that haven't really understood the world like that. He may get all the podcast information, but no matter how much we feed these guys this information, they have to go out there and go through trial and tribulation. That's how a man is created. So if you a streamer, man, you got to watch how you move. If you got money, man, watch how you move. It is serious out here. And that's all I ever see. Email Duck a situation. He's not a streamer, but I just know that he got money. And even that woman that have money is out here putting him on that, trying to get money. Like, and women are all like, you should ask for more. Ask for more. <laughs> like, it's crazy out here. Like, you just be like, wow. Like, really? Like, really? You see Tyrese out here crying and complaining about an ex that's taking him to court every blue moon. Like, he make bad decisions, but still, like, damn, like, she really on his ad. Like, it's crazy. But... You got to watch who you keep around you guys. Get you a good woman. Go on about your life and stay out the streets, man. If you got that bag, stay out the streets, man. Don't be like future. Ten baby mamas is unacceptable. That's just ten broken homes. Like, that's no, no, unacceptable. Like, I'm not a fan of that, you know, but women are lining up for it all because of the resource. Don't do that, guys. Don't be the collecting baby mamas like they championship belts. Don't do that. Get you a good one. If you can afford a poly, get a second one. That's it. Or have a mistress like the billionaires. But don't be out here sleeping around. I don't recommend it because I wouldn't even do the, the like the mistress. I'm not. I can't even think about that because it's like them NDAs and all them paper signed don't mean nothing. They still come out here and say stuff. I've been seeing people that they be telling some. Oh, she signed a contract, but she when she got fired, she's out here making content. Like what the world? What was the point of signing them papers then? Like, these courts aren't really holding these women up to, like, anything. Like, they're just letting them come out here and talk crazy. Like, come on, man. Like, she signed NDAs. She's not supposed to say da 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 But she's in court out here. She's on social media blasting everything. Can I sue her? <laughs> nah, sir. You know, like, eh. And then if she already talked about it, it don't matter if you sue her or not. Because guess what? The person that she didn't want to find out about it already found out about it. So, and the world going to make sure she hear it. Is yeah guys it's sad if these women cheat nothing happens to them 
If you cheat on them and you got money, oh, it's over with. It's over with. It's over with. Social media coming for you, my boy. Cancel culture. They only take them. You breathing wrong. <laughs> Did Sean breathe heavy on his microphone? Oh, cancel. Cancel. If you make money, one thing I want to say, if you make money on this platform, you know, um, think of other revenues. I have, I never want to be a YouTuber. I have other goals and aspirations. So YouTube is a, a pathway for me to get to where I want to go in life. You know, one day y'all will see it. If God bless me on YouTube and I get right, I have real aspiration. I don't want to sit here and depend on or wait for a shade room to finally catch me and be like, oh, he's one of them Kevin Samuel guys. Oh, he's one of them. And it's like, when did it like, we hear an allegation. It's time to tear him down finally, you know, because it, that's just how it happened. Like, and I would, I would tell any of you guys to have like a real legit business. You have to understand when you build a real legit business, you don't have to depend on YouTube or streaming and stuff like that. That's just another revenue. But the real business should be out there making all your profit. This YouTube and every other streaming should be a side hustle that makes you profit. Because if you are here depending on people to see your views and like you as a person, people change every single day. Every single day. And one day they ain't going to respect you like they used to or like you how they used to. Like you be out here like, damn, my views are down. People don't like me no more. You should have a real business. A real business. Like you should have, a, you're making all these hundred Ks and all these thousands. Stop getting these cars, these houses. Start a real business. So you don't have to be dependent on these platforms. You can be a very successful man without being on camera. You know, y'all guys got to take that seriously. Like that's one thing I tell myself, like, Guys, when I become successful, psh, man, somebody else is going to be doing this for me. Like, I'll have somebody else doing it. If they don't want to do it, cool. It's getting shut down. But, I, guys, man, I have plans. YouTube is not like, oh, my God, I'm going to be here for 10 years and I'm making millions. I'm like, I'm still here. No, 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 no. Nope. I got to understand that this is a short lifespan. No matter how good y'all want to say, oh, Sean, they still love you. It's okay to bounce back. Go to Rumble. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not a people person. These are great conversations to have, but I'm not. No, like we got to understand that we men have to understand that society don't respect us. They don't respect us. And when you sit on these platforms and you sit here and say the things you say, they will censor you. You know, so get you a real business, at least. Every one of you streamers, get you a real business at least. So when they say you are not here no more, your page is gone, you'd be like, pfft. This is like my fifth job right here. I don't care. I have four real businesses. This is literally. Like, it's, it's, you know, it's real stuff, man. Like, real stuff out here. Like, I'm, nah. I'm, guys, I'm trying to be on the Forbes list. Like, top five, top ten. I have real goals. And I have real plans. I had plans since I was, like, 21. I had goals at... 11th grade but my i wrote down everything at 21 like i wrote down all the stuff i want to be and i had plans i've been talking about working on since 21 youtube is just a pathway i've been working you gotta understand people put in work before they get to a certain platform but yeah don't sit here and, and you know preach all this information make all this money start laughing smiling guys this this start a real business guys stop being lazy Start a real business. Put on that suit. Go out there and start a real business. You have all that money. The first, the funniest thing is that people sit here and we go to jobs and they be like, if you gave me 50K, I'll start a business and stuff like that. These guys make 100Ks, 200Ks, zero businesses. Zero businesses. Like they make a million, zero businesses. Like this talking about a real establishment. The only person I give shout out is to RDC. RDC have their own platform outside of just YouTube and stuff like that. They create that RDC world where they do cosplay stuff and stuff like that. They're venturing out from just YouTube. Because if they do other things and stuff like that, they have legit that cosplay thing they be creating. And when they invite all the YouTubers and all their friends over there to do all the, you no, know, I'm not a cosplay person. I'm not an animal person, but I be seeing RDC. And I'm like, what Mark and his crew are doing over there, that's real business. Outside of YouTube, you don't need YouTube to document that. YouTube will, here's the fun thing. You he can be demonetized. And as long as he's promoting it, YouTube can just be promoting it. 
and people will still go there as long as they know it. it's like YouTube could be your fly, you advertise stuff. People will be going over there. Mark have a legit thing, and there's other platforms. There's other platforms that he can literally advertise Instagram and all that stuff. But I would never sit here and tell you guys, like, y'all got to have real, you YouTubers and guys that make money, start a real business. Like, it's, it's, it's the craziest thing. I be seeing you guys sitting here telling some, oh, you know, he make this money. And I'm like, what does he do? He sell clothes and stuff. Like, man, start something serious. <laughs> get into the tech field. Like, get into something like, you have all this bread. We live in the... <laughs> We live in the technology era. And you guys don't want to invest in technology. Y'all want to be on YouTube streaming and stuff like that, man. And Twitch and stuff. Stop focus on people that will sit here and say we don't like you one day and go out there and sell a product. You can, you can, you have to stop one day being the product and and create a product. Stop being the product and create a product. As long as you're the product, and when people stop liking you, they stop liking the product. That's the problem. No matter how many people talk about Gucci and Louis and all that stuff. We don't, most people never seen the people that made Gucci and Louis. So we could all go and protest. But guess what? Gucci and Louis will still be Gucci and Louis. <laughs> you can't cancel them <laughs> because people don't know the entities that own that. They may know them by name or seen a picture one time, but people are not seeing them on camera every single day. But guess what? You streamers and YouTubers and all this other stuff, they see you all the time. Once you're not liked, and you are the product, you're gone. They're taking you off the shelf. Next streamer, pop up. Go ahead. Your turn to shine. What about that guy had a million? Hey, 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 hey. you have 10K. Go out there and go on stage and start performing now. It's your turn. That's how it goes. But if you have a business and you have an establishment, if they don't like that product, if Walmart is out there in the establishment, right? Walmart have a whole bunch of products. If we don't like the water at Walmart, there's multiple sections of water. Walmart is now go out of business. They have a whole lot of product. It don't belong to Walmart, but it's like Walmart have a whole distribution thing. But you have to understand, it's so many things in there that they can't shut them down. There's so many products at Walmart, they can't shut them down. You YouTubers only have one product, and it's that one channel. You can create a second channel, but it's still that same product. It's in the same area. If they don't like one, they might take the other one. They, they, you know what YouTube do? When they take one page, they may take other pages too because the social life is literally the same person. They know it's you. They know it's you. That's that's still him. Take that page down too. Like y'all understand that you got to go out there and venture out and really do your real business stuff, guys. Like start a real business. You may plan saying, if I ever get a chance, I franchise this, I start this. Go out there and start it then. Stop being out here because you're on stage for now. But one day they'll tell you get off stage. And you're going to be like, well, I got a million. I got 10 million on YouTube. Get off stage, sir. We don't like what you said about our page and what I get off stage. And y'all be traumatized. I got demonetized. Like, you're not going to be on stage forever. <laughs> Even rappers and celebrities, they have their phases. One day they're the hottest thing in the streets. And then there's new, the new people come in. Like, y'all be thinking y'all going to be the hottest thing on YouTube for years and years and years. That's not how it works. People do move on. But you have to understand one thing. Jordan was hot when he was playing. The shoes was hot back then. The shoes are still hot to this day. <laughs> like, the shoes will be, like, I understand, like, everything has its time. You have to one day stop selling yourself and sell a real product. I cannot always be the product. You should not always be the product. You guys got to understand that. You should not always be the product. It doesn't make sense. If I'm on YouTube and YouTube and y'all like, Sean is this, Sean is creative and stuff like that. You got to understand, even Kassanet, Kassanet will literally one day age out. He will be 25 one day. He will be 30 years old. Them kids will start looking at him different one day. He's in a niche where it's young people. But one day he will age out because there will be new versions of Kai coming into the life. And he has to start thinking, how will I keep my audience? Because these people are getting older. They're getting older. Society is still progressing. They will get older. So all that money you're making is only a finite time before you have to move on and go venture somewhere else. The minute I touch money, guys, I will be making money moves. 
God is my witness. I had plans since I was 21. YouTube was never in that plan. Like YouTube was never, oh my God, I'm going to start a YouTube talking about relationship. Never thought of something like that. YouTube is a way to get somewhere, a destination, a stop. I'm here at this destination for a little bit. I'm going to the next stop after this. But y'all won't see me out here. Sean been on YouTube for da-da-da-da. No, 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 no. The minute the money start coming in, <laughs> we expanding. We, I promise you, like, I'll be like Amazon. I'm going to expand. I'm going to be everywhere. I'm going to expand. And I won't be the, I will never sell me. I will never, I will have real product. I will be mostly in technology. I won't lie. I'll be mostly in technology. I don't believe you should invest in anything else in technology and in hospitals and stuff like that. Stuff that will advance a society. Stuff that we need is technology, hospitals and stuff like that. Healthcare. And invest into things that we need long term. Generations after generations. Invest into that. Start building things right there. I don't care how much money you got to invest. It took time for you to blow up on Instagram, YouTube and all this stuff. It will take time for you to get there too. But I will keep investing. Those are generational things. But I will be damned before I sit here and be like, <laughs> I'm in my 30s and I'm talking about relate. No, guys, we got to start every platform person. Get right, man. Get your stuff together. We're making money. We have plans in the warehouse, plan at Walmart or wherever you was working. At, you was like, if I get this amount of money, man, I'm going to start something. You're making that money. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're making that money. Now. And guess what? These guys are enjoying the money instead of actually investing the money. I got to stop doing that. But that's all I got to say is like, you know, like, I don't know. Like these guys is, they got sponsors and deals and stuff. It's, it be blowing me, man. I'll be like, I'll be looking around like, damn, they don't have no businesses. They don't got no, like they got sponsors. They got this, they got this little thing, but it's like their main drive is this platforms. And I'm like, man, you can't be doing this. Start a real business. That's what we fail so much, but it be crazy to me, guys. It be crazy to me. I never understand. I never understand. But it's late, and my girl probably upset that I'm taking so long. Got to talk to her. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And you are right, my guy, Squid. YouTube, one day, will move on, and you know how every platform moves on. But like, comment, subscribe, guys. Appreciate the love and support. Thank you for tuning in. Peace, guys. It's been a show today. Almost five hours. Oh, my stuff hurt. I'm so tired. Oh, I got to stretch. Oh, I feel like I've been working out. Peace, guys. Have a good night. Like, comment, and subscribe. Questions or concerns, or if you want to speak on topics with me, let me know in the comment section. And I have a video. I make, like, if you ever want me to do a, like, a live stream where we just talk about topics, Y'all got to come in and I'll talk about it. If not, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and try to think of different ideas. But if y'all ever want to ask me questions, y'all guys got to tell me these are the questions we want to ask you. And I'll make a live stream and I'll come on and I'll just answer questions and talk to y'all guys about stuff. Topics and other things related, I'll entertain. I'm not that diverse, but if y'all want to hear my perspective, y'all can ask. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>